What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Guys, this is gonna be a good video because I'm gonna walk you through my entire week of workouts. Okay, you're gonna get five killer workouts for me. Kind of what my workouts but it looks like. Let's head to the gym, let's hit day one, and let's get this lift. Eee! All right, welcome to day one. We're kicking things off with a leg day. We are gonna do some glutes. Mother freaking, I can't say the right words. We are gonna do some quads today. I'm so stoked. I start every single workout with a warm up, you guys. You you already know. Been here, done that. Y'all know. Never skip a warm up. So I'm just doing some dynamic exercises, some dynamic stretching, bringing movement to the stretching. Today's priority is squatting. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of squats, but that's because this is a quad day and. And that's the focus that I want to take when it comes to this workout. I will have a glutes and hamstrings day a little bit later in the week. So you will see that. Heading into exercise number one, we're doing some back squats. Let's go. This is a warm up set and then I will increase into my working sets. I'm going to do three sets of six, kind of keeping the reps low, working on a strength. Don't really want to overdo it because I know I'm going to have a lot of volume with other exercises today. And Exercise two, our front squats. These are brutal. They are so good for quads and honestly, they work your core so much. It's such a different feeling than back squats. These are so much harder. That's why I can really only do about half the weight. And honestly, since I've been targeting my quads and putting an emphasis on those, honestly, I feel like I've seen such a big difference. Next up, our goblet squats. I grabbed a heavy dumbbell. It was a little bit of a challenge getting up and taking this on and off the rack because this is like 80 pounds or something. But you know what? A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And honestly, this is a fire exercise. Having your heels propped up a little bit is also going to help you target your quads just a little bit more. Anything to help with the quad growth and really pushing through the last few reps. Next up are walking lunges. I like to do these with and without weight. So I start with 10 with weight and then I will drop the weight and then do 10 more without. I think this is such a good burner. Unfortunately, my video cut out, but this is me doing narrow squats on the Smith machine and another fire exercise. And then I'm ending off with leg extensions. It's great to start with your compound exercises and then move into isolation exercises. That's usually the order that I do my workouts in. She is beauty, she is grace. Here is her new merch, boom. Okay, 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 let's hit the gym. If you see a braid, you know what day it is. Back, biceps, and rear delt. Starting off day two with, you guessed it, a warm up. I am starting off with jump rope. I like to alternate between Stairmaster, incline walk, and sometimes I like to throw in a jump rope, okay? I was really feeling it today, so that's what I did. I jump roped and then I alternated between some upper body stretches, so like this, I used the bar just to help with the mobility, warm me up, and then I would jump rope again. If I do pull-ups at the beginning of my workout, I typically count this as part of my warm-up, but you can count this as an exercise. I don't know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but I did three sets of 10 pull-ups, really working on getting better at these. Honestly, you're never gonna get better at something if you don't keep trying and putting in that effort. After that, I moved into seated cable rows. These are a staple move. They're so good for your mid back. So I went ahead and did three sets and the last set I drop set. A drop set is where you go up in weight and you do as many as you can. Then you lower your weight by half and burn out with the rest of the reps at a lower weight. Drop sets are an effective way to promote muscle hypertrophy or muscle endurance. Then I moved into narrow grip pull downs. These are great for your lats, more for your inner lats, but again, a great staple exercise for back day and love it. When it it comes to working out your back it's not always the easiest to feel it but again work on that mind to muscle connection i love to use the last rep and really hold and squeeze at the end i think that that helps doing some more rows i call these saucy rows because i just love them then I hit up some face pulls. These are important that you keep your arms up a little bit more instead of completely down in parallel with your arm. So pull your arms up a little bit. That's really gonna help you target the rear delt. I'm finishing off with some curls for the girls working biceps. We cannot neglect our biceps. So here I am just doing an easy bar curl. I'm just doing three sets of 10, pretty light weight, uh, just getting in some good reps, perfect form, focusing on that muscle to mind connection and getting a solid pump, which we love to see. When doing curls, keep your elbows in nice and tight and don't swing up the bar or use momentum. Just strictly try and use your biceps. 
Last but not least, I'm ending with my five minutes of abs. I don't like to work abs or core. I love to just have a timer on my phone for five minutes. I know I can do it in those five minutes. I get in, I get out. I'm checking that off my list. And this just goes to show you gotta do some things and put in the work even if you don't want to. You guys, today's workout was so good. Oh my gosh, I loved today's workout. I felt so strong. I did like 120 pounds on these. I was like saucing it. Wow, it was, it was good. So today was one for the books. Awesome workout, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow when we hit push. Day three, here we go. We're working push, so chest, triceps, and shoulders. I am warming up again. I start every workout with a warm up. I did five minutes on the incline walk, and then I'm doing some banded pull aparts. These are some of my favorite exercises to do before hitting a workout. I love to do these to warm up. I threw in some upright rows with the band, and then I'm doing some core work. I really wanna hit 40s for shoulder press, so I'm like, let's get as warmed up as possible. Adding in a tiny bit of core work helps me be mindful throughout my lifts to keep my core activated. And then I always do a couple random stretches, whatever's feeling good. I wanna say how huge of a milestone this was for me. To mentally be on my own, commit to lifting 40s mentally, this was extremely tough for me. I warmed up with a set of 35s. It felt light, easy, and great. So I said, here we go. I'm hitting 40s, today's the day, and I'm filming it. And I did it, and I was seriously so proud of myself. I felt strong form felt great everything felt nice and tight and I was so proud of myself so I did one set with 35 and then I did three sets with 40s and then I drop set my 40s with a lighter weight to burn out because I could only hit about five to six reps with the 40s so I'm burning out at the end I'm toasting my shoulders this was an absolute awesome way to end this workout and honestly I'm just really proud of myself for freaking putting up 40s let's go after shoulder press, I was pretty much gassed, but I was still trying to push it hard. I did three sets of six, and honestly, my last set, I think I only hit three reps. I was absolutely dead. So I did three sets of six, and then I went in on one set of three. I mean, it, this was supposed to be another set of six, but I was about done. I was spent. And I was supersetting these with these plyo push-ups, so just kind of doing a wide push-up with a hand release. just giving myself a little bit extra burn in between the sets. But as you can tell, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> I then moved into incline chest press. You guys can tell I am pretty beat. This workout has been draining mentally and physically. And this is a true, true workout of me just like, this is real. I am so exhausted and tired, but I'm gonna push through. And this is just kind of how I level myself up. Like, I know I can do it. I'm just mentally fatigued. So I'm just pushing through. I'm putting up 35s on this, which is a very challenging weight for me, but this is, this is what it's about. It's about overcoming those hurdles and I can only get better. I can only progress and push myself by challenging myself this way and overcoming that so honestly i've been super proud of myself this entire workout i decided to finish out a little bit lighter so i'm doing a little shoulder burnout i'm doing some lateral raises and then i'll go into a front raise complex but just doing three sets of 10 keeping it nice and light still working still pushing but not completely destroying myself and this is a front raise so i'm doing alternating and then one together and i do five reps of this whereas three sets of 10 for the lateral raises i also did rear delt flies that i forgot to film okay i just got home from the gym and let's have a little midweek chat today's workout was just so taxing on my body and on my mental my emotion like everything it was so so hard I was pushing heavy weight and I was committing and it's very uncomfortable. Like I was so uncomfortable lifting these new weights. It is scary. It is intimidating. It is hard mentally to commit, to do it. And just to like push your body that way, it is so hard. And I feel like it's something that you can't really get through a video that I throw on Instagram or YouTube where I'm talking over it or throw some music on like, oh yeah, shoulder pressing 40s looks easy. There's some music behind it, you know? I can't, but like in my brain, in my body is like, oh, like all the swear words, all the bad things. Like it is so hard and mentally taxing to freaking push yourself. And I feel like that's why it's actually kind of easy to not see results. It's easy to settle at an easy 10 rep weight because it's easy. It is hard pushing yourself day in, day out. Oh, it is not easy. And today's workout was not easy. It was so hard. And I feel like, I don't know, this YouTube video is kind of cool because it's a true, my week of workout. I hear you breathe, but I 
It is the beloved day four, everybody's favorite glute and hamstring day, the day to build the dumpy. Let's fatten her up. May she get fatter. Amen. What's new? It's me warming up before a workout. That's what we like to do. That's what we like to see. So again, I'm doing my dynamic stretches and then I will be moving into my official workout after. My first leg day of the week, I like to focus on squats. And then the second day, I really like to focus on deadlifts and glute bridges. So those are kind of the two main exercises I will be doing today. I am starting off with stiff legged deadlifts. I haven't done these in a while. I usually do sumo deadlifts, but I was just feeling these. I need to work on them a little bit better. So here I am putting in the work. Now I'm moving into three sets of 12 to 15 reps of hip thrust. I'm doing lighter weight, higher rep really focusing on mind to muscle connection. I have not done sets of 12 to 15 hip thrusts in so long. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's start it off and then we'll finish with one really heavy set. Some key things when it comes to hip thrusts, you wanna keep your chin tucked, you wanna have your feet and shins in line at 90 degrees and use a barbell pad or some type of pad to help protect your hips. I am supersetting those lighter sets with 30 reps of these banded abductors and now I am moving into my last and heavy set of hip thrusts. I typically like to start out with the heavier weight and then drop down and do lighter, but I was really working on endurance for these hip thrusts. I wanted to hit higher rep, lighter weight first, and then I was like, you know what? Let's just add on 315 and hip thrust this because I wanted to. This is the absolute worst part of every leg day is re-racking your weights. It is so hard. Like you're already so tired from lifting all those weights and now you have to re-rack and unrack your weight. Ugh, worst part. Now I'm moving into glute bridges. Glute bridges and hip thrusts, both are great. Both are great for your glutes. Both are great for your legs. There are a few differences. Hip thrusts, you're getting a better full range of motion. Whereas glute bridges, since you're on the ground, you do have a little bit more limited range of motion, but this does better isolate your glutes just a little bit because you're not using your quads as much. Both are great exercises that should definitely be included in your routine though. One's not better than the other per se. Now I'm moving into a Bulgarian split squat with an RDL. Honestly, this is an extremely hard move. If you need to break these up, do them separately or just do the Bulgarian split squat. So I do five split squats with an RDL and then I just do straight split squats after that. So I do five and five. These take a ton of stability of core work, flexibility. I mean, the, this was really tough. I ended up finally remembering to film my cool down. So here is a typical cool down for a leg day. I always try to take at least five minutes to cool down. Honestly, I feel like this is the least that my body deserves, right? Like I, it just put me through an intense workout. I need to treat it right, take some time, stretch out, cool it back down, get my heart rate back down. Stretching, rolling out, staying hydrated and keeping your protein intake high are always help reduce soreness. So I definitely always try to make sure that I stretch out after a leg day for sure. Also, since my muscles are warm, this is the prime time for me to work on flexibility, mobility, help me get a better range of motion. Don't skip out on this. You are not doing yourself a favor. Take five minutes, stretch a little bit and you will see a huge difference. Here's the end of workout pump. I think it's pretty crazy, honestly. I never thought I would like to wear white leggings, but I love it. Oh my gosh. I was worried you blow my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make it me shiver. Day five is my functional day, or if I wanna work a little bit extra of a muscle group, I will also add that in. So we started with glutes because my friend really wanted to work glutes. So we did some glute bridges, high rep, and then some abductions, high rep again, just getting a really nice glute pump. Then we moved into a little booty circuit. We used a resistance band and did three rounds, about 10 reps each exercise, and this was a great little finisher. On to the functional workout. This is probably my favorite day of the week. I just love training functionally. I think it is so fun, helps keep up my athleticism, and it really pushes me in a new way, mentally and physically. So I did six tire flips, and then I'm going to move on to the next exercise in the circuit. I'm just doing little lateral bounds. This helps with the balance, stability, coordination, and I think that these are really fun. You can just place anything on the floor and just bound each side. And then I move into knee drives, get yourself a platform, 
and drive your knee up. You're gonna do 12, six each leg. The purpose of this whole workout is to go fast through this circuit so there are no breaks in between this. And then I moved right into stability ball crunches. These are great, they help with your shoulders because you're in a plank, you're using your core, you're using stabilization because the bozu ball makes it really challenging. So I did 10 of these and then I rest for 30 seconds to 60 seconds and then I start over again, do this about five times and that's a wrap. Pow, pow, pow. All right, you guys, let's have a merch haul right now. Let's get into it. I got these every day. It's a fresh start collection dropping. So, <laughs> hate myself. JK, love myself. Okay, so here we go. These are, there's two different designs. Okay, the first design looks like this. So, you've got every day is a fresh start right here. And then in the back, so this is design one, every day is a fresh start smiley face because each and every day is a fresh start and I want you to remind yourself of that, that even if you messed up the day before, even if you've had a really bad week, a month, every single day is a fresh start. Every single day, commit to yourself, commit to your goals. We've got this, love you. I am wearing a size small, so this is kind of my true to size small. This is how it fits. I think that this is so cute. I love this color. It comes out in a lot of different colors too, which is dope. So if blue isn't your thing, I got other colors for you and style, so don't worry. If you buy your true to size, you can also crop it so that it's all cute and like a cute gym cover up or going to the beach, the park. Like it's just kind of cute to wear a cropped hoodie. So if you buy it like this, you can crop it on yourself or you can buy oversized to have an oversized hoodie. So you've got a few different options buy true to size crop it buy true to size just wear it like this or you can buy a couple sizes up so that it's oversized and that like relaxed boyfriend look it also comes in long sleeves so I'm wearing a large so it's a little bit oversized but not too oversized sometimes I will size up to an extra large and I'm like I think it's too big but this is big enough where it's still cute and you can just wear this around the house lounging you can wear it to the pool you can wear it going to the gym you can wear it anywhere I just think this is so cute like and it comes in a bunch of different colorways, so you have lots of options. Staple, let's go. Okay, this is what a small looks like on. I think it's still so cute, comfy, roomy. This comes in so many different colors. And again, the same logo on the front and the back. I feel like this color pops. It's so fun, it's so summery. And again, size up if you wanna bag your look, size down if you wanna kinda of crop it and have it be like a little t-shirt. You could totally crop this. Cut it here and have it cropped. You could even tie it up. Possibilities are endless, you guys. Okay, this is what the large looks like. So all the way down, this is what it looks like. Kinda of like it covers my shorts. If you want an oversized look, you can wear this to the gym. I feel like that's so cute, you know, if you're wearing shorts under. Your little pump cover, let's go. Or, you know, you can kind of like shift it like this where you can like tuck it into the back and have it come in the front for a baggy look, jeans, sneakers. Who doesn't love a nice black tee? Okay, this is also in a large, a full white fit. Let's go. We gotta put the hat on for this. This is like swagged out. This would be so cute. Like a nice, fresh, all clean, all white look. Headed to the beach, headed to the pool, headed out for ice cream. It's summertime, baby. Let's go. <laughs> And this is the crew neck. I already wore this to the gym. This is just a really cute crew neck. This is a small. Again, I can crop it if I want or just kind of keep it full length, keep it more coverage. It's cute. It's a staple. I mean, what this just makes me happy and smiley. So yeah, love the crew neck. Last but not least, this also comes in a cropped hoodie. So Again, if you wanna crop it by yourself, get your perfect crop by the hoodie, by the crew, crop it yourself. It does come in an already cropped hoodie. This is a little bit of like a softer, even thicker material this hoodie is than like this one that I'm wearing. And the crop is pretty long and modest. This is the cropped hoodie on, but it is more of a modest crop, which is really cool. So even if I raise my hands up a little bit, I'm not gonna see as much midsection. So if you're wearing, you know, high-waisted leggings, if you don't want any stomach showing, but you still kinda want a little crop Toddy. I kind of got you covered. Okay, now I'm gonna move into design number two. Again, it's each day's a fresh start. It's just a little bit different. It's gonna come in all the same options. So t-shirts, long sleeves, crew necks, hoodies, and even these cropped hoodies. So this is the design of the second one. It's just a little bit different, kind of more graphic-y on the front and then nothing on the back. 
This is a small that I cropped so you can kind of get the idea, the vibe of what you can do to crop these. I think this is so cute. So if you want to crop any of your t-shirts, like go ahead. I just kind of eyeballed it and cropped it like so. And I think it's so cute. This is so cute to warm up to wear wherever. And it's just super summery. The choice is up to you. There are a ton of options. There should be enough stock for everybody. The link is gonna be down in the description box below. And this is going live Monday, June 21st, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern. So there will be international shipping. Let me know what you think you're gonna get. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.